Arms of Justice. Welcome back to the this bad move of Arms of Justice. Now today, it is going to be another miraculous video. Now, for those who haven't heard the latest news, of course, there are six more episodes to go to be released of season four of Miraculous. So now, recently, um, there has been trailers, well, of course, two trailers for season four, episode 23, Kuroneko. And I've got to say, there was one part of my theory that I got right. However, I don't know if the rest of it was going to be right. So between this episode and the finale, I had this theory of how Cat Devoir would at some point disassociate himself from Ladybug. There was another part of my theory where Adrian gives up being Cat Devoir temporarily out of frustration with Ladybug. So this new trailer has came out and of course we start off with the heroes uh, if you if you've seen the the gloob trailer it would start off with cat noir he's looking whizzed off and as you can see he's watching this news report ladybug is being talked to by clara it shows clara basically asking ladybug about cat noir's whereabouts since he hasn't been there with them lately he then goes off to find her and obviously she's with a few heroes already so as you can see in the shot she is with Kim, Kagami, Juleka and Milen as their hero personas King Monkey, Ryuku, Purple Tigress and Polymouse. And obviously Kanawa arrives on the scene and then obviously the, the heroes separate. Uh, if you've seen the Gloob trailer it obviously shows probably a post argument or mid argument and that's when uh, Boy is basically asking if he could help out in any other way. He has must have been frustrated or he must have been sarcastic I don't know if he was serious but I'm hope I'm hoping he was he was still frustrated and I'm hoping he asked this in a sarcastic way and this is when Ladybug in accordance to translations she replies if you really want to help me why about you stop wasting my time and this got him well in awe and also he got whizzed off and as you can see he's whizzed off he's frustrated uh, if you've seen the Gloob trailer, it shows him giving up the Cat Miraculous. Ah, here we go again. And as you can see, Ladybug returns. He finds finds the finds the ring. Uh, in my opinion, she actually did deserve that <laughs> because I think well, obviously we haven't seen the whole argument, but I think Cat and the Wild didn't get a chance to give his reason. And obviously, Ladybug, being how she is as usual, putting up this dickish incentive, not listening to Cat Noir, and obviously he gets frustrated. He wants to say what he wants to say, but like he just doesn't get the chance because he's always stopped. Fear as in made that this is fiction. I believe that Ladybug clearly did deserve this because um even though there were certain secrets that she had to keep and this was before she was the Guardian and obviously there were secrets that she has now she is the Guardian obviously there would still be no excuse as to why she should be playing the victim card here let's put it let's put it this way Cat Noir is the real victim here because he's the one being left in the dark be it as it may that he has a jealous shriek okay and obviously he should be willing to accept that there's a team there but I'm guessing it's how this team has been presented to him so obviously we see Ladybug she now has the the, uh, the cat miraculous and this is obviously Plague appears I think Plague is basically explaining why Cat Noir just gave up being Cat Noir. I don't know if he'll say everything. Well, obviously he can't really say everything, everything, considering if we backtrack to Rocketeer, season four, episode 17, this is where Nino inadvertently reveals that Ladybug gave him and Alia their miraculouses at the same time. And this was during the season two finale, even though Alia already sussed out that Nino was Carapace that's when they started to discover each other as Carapace and Rena Rouge and obviously Adrian finding out about this he found out as his civilian self and I explained in the previous video 
that if he let this out as Cat Noir, Ladybug will be sus and she'll be thinking well how, how did he know that like he wasn't there when it happened someone must have told him in which obviously she will try to work out would it be was it Nino or was it Harley her that let it slip but then at the same time Nino would catch on to the fact that Adrian is Cat Noir so obviously that's the part where Adrian as himself and Cat Noir has to be careful with how this news gets revealed so now we move on we got this new mother trucker called Catwalker now there's been theories of who this might be some people think it might be Adrian some people think it might be Felix I think it's Felix it, and it, it should be Felix and it better be Felix however obviously sometimes you ain't gonna see what you expect it is I, I let me be honest with you it is gonna suck if it's gonna be Adrian if it's gonna be Adrian there better be a good explanation probably he's um I don't know maybe maybe Plaid convinced him to do this new persona and this relates to a theory that I had that Cat Noir will take on a new persona but continue his heroism on his own but obviously as you can see here Cat Walker is fighting alongside Ladybug and if this is Adrian this is probably some sort of ruse I don't know if he's trying to prove his worth and according to some leaked scripts there has been some voice acting leaks of Catwalker we don't know of for sure if this is Adrian or Felix or another individual Why you have to me? This might be Adrian as Catwalker and he was probably putting on this ruse to basically prove his worth probably proving that he is worth more fighting alongside with than having a team in order to what he believes is prioritizing over him if it is Felix what if Felix is there he's overhearing Adrian ranting and getting whizzed off about Ladybug and obviously declaring giving up being Cat Noir and he's just well just whizzed off in general and somehow Felix finds out that Adrian is Cat Noir and when he overhears this he becomes Catwalker now remember in season 3 episode 23 which is called Felix obviously you see Felix's character at first you see his behavior at first but towards the end of the episode this is where their plague's uh, skepticism of Felix basically wears away after uh, so after Felix apologizes to Adrian and obviously make amends with Adrian the plague then basically comes to trust Felix so maybe if this is Felix what if plague then reluctantly entrusts Felix with the cat miraculous becomes Catwalker and takes on Adrian slash Cat Noir's feelings and reasons and frustration and basically plays and basically once again um, pretends to be well te well theoretically pretends to be Adrian however with some sort of good intent this time probably to epiphanize Ladybug on how she should be more mindful of including Cat Noir whenever it is possible for him to be included Adrian as Cat Noir he's feeling left out and in the dark what Marinette as Ladybug needs to do is understand where this weird behavior is coming from and why this is happening why is he not turning up why does he have an issue but hopefully this would be addressed in the following episode penalty season 4 episode 24 now if you see in the latest screenshot you had Ladybug with a, with a plethora of heroes but there's only one thing Cat Noir is not seen in this shot so maybe this is where Cat Noir is still not Cat Noir either he's just on his own doing his own thing as his own superior self maybe uh, if like I said if Catwalker turns out to be Adrian and he's 
basically putting out, taking out all of his frustration out, emptying out his frustration to Ladybug and basically declares disassociation. Maybe what if Plague encourages him to still be Cat Noir and whilst trying to convince him to make amends with Ladybug, what if Adrian basically takes advantage of Plague's words and basically fights out on his own and just go, goes on his own, he doesn't want anything to do with Ladybug or alternatively what if um, Ladybug then has some sort of epiphany and realises that she should have been more mindful of what was going on with Cat Noir. She then convinces Plague to basically get Cat Noir. Plague then basically tricks Adrian into thinking he's going to do this mission on his own and then he reluctantly accepts it but then it turns out Ladybug is there, he's whizzed off, he wants to go but then Ladybug's convincing him to stay and fight alongside her. Maybe he he takes the offer but like he doesn't want to be there, he doesn't want anything to do with her, he just wants to save the day. And at the end of the mission, when it comes to the pound it, Cat Noir just like just disappears. He just disappears. He doesn't want anything to do with her. So it could be there's a lot of possibilities here, but here's what I want to expect, okay? Between Kuroneko and the finale, I want Adrian, aka Cat Noir, to let his frustration out. I want him to have his say. I don't want him to be Catwalker. And if he is Catwalker, hopefully it's because he's doing some ruse to prove his worth and basically proclaim himself better than a team in which he believes is being prioritized over him. I want Adrian slash Cat Noir to actually come to a decision. Like is he going to continue being Cat Noir but go out on his own? Or is he gonna be giving up being Cat Noir completely and put on this new persona and carry on, on his own? I have I also have a theory for like what will happen at the end of the season. And I believe that Cat Noir is still gonna get whizzed off. He only wants to focus on defeating Shadow Moth. But what if after Shadow Moth's defeat, Cat Noir once again disassociates himself from Ladybug? He'll still carry on as Cat Noir or under a different persona. But he doesn't want anything to do with Ladybug anymore. He like he hates Ladybug. And then maybe in the Rio, Ladybug is basically continuing her heroism with the team and of and of course maybe with the involvement of Valia as Rena 30 and then basically Cat Noir is on his own and then eventually probably coming towards the end of the Rio special or probably going into season 5 they're probably going to reconcile or maybe towards the end of season 5 they'll reconcile and, and there was this other crazy theory I had about how Cat Noir would turn into would turn evil, would turn to a supervillain. It might happen that he might become a supervillain, uh, considering all the feelings that he's feeling. So that's 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 it for this video. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe. Uh, turn your turn your bell on. So with that being said, thanks for watching and Broly Condor.